The MR cardiac analysis workflow contains one general reading and several optional advanced analysis steps depending on the available licenses. This eClip describes the MR cardiac function possibilities, which are used for quantitative evaluation of the left and right ventricular function and associated parameters using the Cine series. Performing MR cardiac function for LV analysis is made simple because Syngovia automatically detects the anatomical landmarks and the endo and epi contours of the Cine series to provide a proposal for the quantitative results without the user interaction. This proposal has to be checked by the user and modified if necessary. With the following steps, you are able to obtain all necessary LV function analysis data very quickly and easily. In the patient navigator, you will find that Syngovia has automatically assigned the patient to the MR cardiac analysis workflow once the images are transferred to Syngovia providing that the appropriate WF assignment rules are configured in the administration portal. Alternatively, you can manually assign the patient to the MR cardiac analysis workflow by right mouse clicking on the patient and selecting Open With and choose the appropriate workflow, MR cardiac analysis. This will assign the study to the workflow and automatically open the study. In MR Cardiac Analysis Workflow, all relevant images are automatically loaded into specific workflow steps. Or, alternatively, they can be dragged and dropped from the series navigator. Select the workflow step MR Cardiac Function, which opens the LV Analysis step. In the layout, the first row shows the short axis slices, while the second row shows the long axis slices. The left column is the movie segment, and the right column is the working segment. The bottom two rows are gallery segments, where all cine series can be found. An automatical segmentation of the left ventricle is performed by coloring the endo contour in red and epi contour in green for short axis slices. In the long axis slices, the landmarks defining the base plane are already identified. The time volume graph TVG segment shows the plot of cardiac volume and mass against the cardiac phases with quantitative functional results. The 4D view segment shows the automatically detected landmarks and contours overlaid on the anatomical slices. Click on the movie segment and with a push on the spacebar, the movie is triggered. You can review if all the contours are defined appropriately. You may enlarge the series of the desired axis in the viewing area for better viewing. To view the different anatomical levels, left mouse click on a gallery segment, and the Cine slice will be auto loaded to the Cine and working segment. If you decide to exclude a slice from the analysis, possibly due to excessive motion, Click on the E icon in the gallery segment. The slice segment will then turn red, indicating that the slice is excluded from calculation and the quantitative result is updated accordingly.
By selecting V in the gallery segments, the corresponding slice is displayed in the 4D view segment. You can right mouse click, hold and drag in the 4D view segment to view the data in different angles. Additionally, if you had started the evaluation while the patient is still being scanned, you can drag and drop the new Cine slices with left mouse click or right mouse click from the series navigator into the reading segments at any time, once they are available in Syngovia. With left mouse click, you can add slices to the slices which are already loaded, propagate contours and landmarks to the new slices. When the Add Slices option is used, it will automatically start a complete new segmentation. With right mouse click, you can add or replace the previously loaded slices. Replace slices will start a re-segmentation automatically. If the automatically detected landmarks and contours require refinement or needs to be corrected globally, you can perform the necessary modifications by using the user guidance or the contour editing and contour creation tools. To open the guidance functionality, click on it. If you decide to edit the contours on your own and are not sure what to do, a step-by-step -step user guidance is available to guide you. The Set Landmark tab guides you through the review and reposition of the necessary landmarks. For every step, the required images will be automatically loaded. You can return to the previous step by clicking the back icon. The second tab, Refine Contour, guides you to refine or redraw the epi and endo contours. The corresponding icons are activated in the case navigator. For instance, the Nudge tool for small adaptations or the Pen tool to create a new contour. When a contour is edited, an automated temporal propagation is performed. For Spatial Propagation, click on Spatial Propagation. The contours of the heart and also LV function result are updated. If you want to revert all manual editing you have made so far, click on Revert to Auto Segmentation. A window will appear and click Yes to discard all changes that you have made. The quantitative results of the LV function analysis are available in Finding Details. In addition, the wall thickening results of the LV function analysis is also documented in an AHA conforming 17 segment model. If the patient body weight and height is available, the BSA body surface area normalized result is also made available. There are two options available to calculate the results. If long axis and short axis is selected, the base plan is defined on the long axis. If short axis is selected, 
the base plane is defined on the short axis using the blood pool point. Clicking on Create LV Finding will generate a finding that is listed in the Findings Navigator and can also be found in the Series Navigator. At the same time, the result is automatically added into the Structured Report, which can be opened from the Patient tab. For the evaluation of the right ventricle, a dedicated workflow step is available. Open the RV analysis step. You can use the user guidance or you can edit the contours directly. In both cases, you need to do the segmentation manually. Click on Guidance and follow the instructions. Check the position of the base plane and then draw the endo and epi contours for every short axis slice in ED using one of the available tools. We recommend the pen tool in combination with the nudge tool. The contours are automatically propagated in time to the other phases, so that you only have to check them. The RV mid-septal wall segmentation can then be performed with a click on Join Operation. RV findings can be created by using the corresponding button in Findings Details. You should create the findings once you have finished the contours. If the patient body weight and height is available, the BSA result is also made available. Detailed report is already available with a click on the icon below the patient tab.